Hello everyone, Moran McKay here, and welcome back to part 6 of the Blade of the Haunted. Okay, we're back down in this disgusting basement area, and uh, I realized that I forgot this. Bow of Quiet. Quietness? Quietus? It's the only really good thing in this area over here. So, some unlucky soul tried to fight her. <laughs> Even with a nice bow. Silence for 25 seconds on strike. Yeah, she's still gonna kick your butt. Okay, so what we were looking for, the diary, was in this barrel. Actually, I had it with me the whole time. I don't know why I got that. You may have to go back down there and look script from uh, old Nadira. Because I had it on my person. Fragmented diary of I think it's Yeah, here we go. I read the first part of it, but we'll read the rest of it. And this is probably the last of the reading, I think. You know. Okay. I have to decide if I'd better stop to rest for some days in a warm place. Coral. Because the weather is really getting too harsh for traveling. But what did I expect? It is midwinter and I am high up in the mountains. Should I have listened to my beloved, Bellinita? When she warned me not to travel to this region at this time of year, stupid old man. Uh, what a sad, nasty day. When I had already reached the borders of the northern hinterland, passing halfway from Skyrim, from the Skyrim border to the city. What, to the city? It, yeah. I encountered a young Argonian lying on the road, full of blood and half frozen. Full of uh, I did what I could to help him help help and vet his evil injuries, but I failed. In the end, the poor lad died in my arms, crying and calling for his mother. Damn it. Don't. <laughs> sorry, that's not funny. I don't know why. That, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, don't know what caught this boy out here this time of year, but I suppose that he thought himself some kind of, uh, some kind of adventure. Once again, I hear Bellanita's voice, stupid greenhorns always running around in the wilderness for treasures and glory. Wait, I've read that before. Or maybe I haven't read it to you guys. Uh, stupid greenhorns always running around in the wilderness for treasures and glory just to get their young heads smashed in before their time. How right she is, at least. This time, I wouldn't dissent. Oh. I can still hear the boy whispering his last words. Did he suffer from fever dreams, or was he talking real? He said something like, the grave of Arrow the Bard. Yes, I can remember now. He said, I really found it, but I failed. It is up there, north from here, halfway up the mountains. There, at the entrance... You have such a beautiful view across the lowlands and the great forest. So beautiful. The grave, the haunted blade. It is real, the key. Then the rest was only stuttering. The last thing I could understand was something like, It is breath, lips, and dawn. Poor boy. Whatever he wanted to point out, I guess he was already slipping away into hallucination. His own, li his own lips, by all means, were full of blood, and yes, dawn was also already coming, but for him it would be his last. When he was gone, I had to bury him right there at the crossroad, but it took... What? But I took his remainder with me to see if someone in Coral knows who he was, or if he had family. I wonder whether the strange dark blue crystal that he had carried on him Carefully wrapped in a leather bag was something to do with his dangerous quest. But I don't mind. Let the young fools risk their lives for silly treasure hunting. I don't care. Or I won't care. 
left coral again. The weather is so much better now, at least. I can continue my journey southwards too. So, I'm not sure if I read these. In fact, I'm probably pretty sure I didn't. The loose book pages. Which is only in passing. I wonder which one. Wait, wait, wait. The preceding text is missing. Okay, so this is the first one, first page of the missing pages. Mentioned only in passing, the dying young man, it was probably some kind of adventurer, confessed that he had been searching for a special rune nearby, or his, or in his own words, as reproduced by Manchises, the grave of Errol the Bard and his haunted blade. In addition, with his last words, the dying Argonian revealed a strange description of where the location could be found. Please refer to the phrase, beneath... Lips and darn, lips and dawn, in the diary. And Jesus didn't know what to make of the stuttered last words. He was obviously struggling for saving the poor fellow's life, though without success, as we know. Neither did he know anything about the old tale of Arrow and Dandelion, so unfortunately, he didn't go any further into this matter. Anyway, thanks to this documentation, we can now be sure that there was at least someone who really found the place of our interests, which that hitherto thought to be nothing but fiction. After thousands of years, it apparently has, was rediscovered and brought back to reality at least once. Though the unlucky death of the young Argonian adventure left us with only these few clues. I believe that it was able to pick up the breadcrumbs once more and deliver the final proof that Ariel and Dandelion are not just roles in a fantastic story but real historic persons. If I fail, whoever may read this after my deceit yeah, my decease shall be encouraged to continue my work, help science to praise the secret out of the mists of myth and legend and reclaim it for true history. Meridian of Ballast, Frostfall. P.S. Please, please find attachment Jesus diary and antique crystal. Well, that sounds like the last page. Okay. Well, maybe this was the first one. Uh, oh well. Uh, Manchise Aaron Aaron eh, Aaron Lonidos from Tanith in Hammerfell. He probably died in Leowen around uh, the Third Era, 64, i.e. during the disastrous reign of the Emperor Uriel, Uriel II. This corresponds with the entry I found in the Le Leowen Necrologies of the Year, the Third Era, 66. I was lucky to discover Manchise's diary together with the antique key mentioned in it in the mystic archives of the Arcane University. Some unknown member of the Mages Guild must have archived him there. Maybe because he or she had also realized its historic importance. Nevertheless, I have to thank the Archive Master uh, Giverian for his helpfulness and for letting it to me for further studies, so I am able to attach both the diary and the crystal to this essay. Please, re please refer to the original text for details because I will only summarize here what was the most relevant for our questions. May Jesus of course, that during one of the travels which led him from the western Gerald Mountains down into the northern Colombian Highlands, he ran across an Argonian dying on a crossroads, heavily wounded and obviously dying. But Jesus tried to take care of his wounds, but couldn't save his life in the end. For us, the interesting part about this incident is what meant Jesus. And then I should have. That was the first page. And then the one I read first was the last page. Okay, so it mentions coral over and over again, so we obviously have to go there. So that's where our road leads us next. To coral. Which is where I'll start the video back up. Alright, we're here in coral and we're asking all around. This is a new topic that seems to have jumped into everybody's um, dialogue. Alien places. I'm sorry, that's not my field of interest. You need to ask someone else. So assume I just need to find the right person around here Why? to talk to. 
not going to be the guard, but... Good day, sir, and welcome to co... Daily Places. Daily Places ruins nasty creatures and daily traps. Yes, I've heard about such horrible things. There are lots of them here in the surrounding, especially the mountains, but I can tell you... can't tell you anything. You should ask a scholar. Well, that's kind of a clue. You Mage's too. Guild, Mage's Guild, Mage's Guild. Either Mage's Guild or Chapel, that's what that means. Seen the Briants and their dogs. I'm waiting for that book. I've seen them. Yeah. Everyone likes a good dog. How do you do? If there's really? anything I. I'm Contumelorius Florius. I'm in charge of enchanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alien places. Alien places you mean in the historic ruins near the city? That's interesting. You should ask. Alarmino, our alchemist, he is very literate in that. Perhaps the priest at the chapel might also be some hints about where to find the most interesting places, though they don't really like the topic. So he just gave us our two best clues. I said, I, I said, mage's guild or chapel. So he just pointed us. Hi there. Away. Have you heard Renoir got some new Hello books there. and stuff? They say new that books? Is Who has the money to afford the all those books? I know I don't. So you're the one it's we need to talk to, huh? It's my pleasure. Please continue. Mmm, alien places. Alien ruins? Yes. There are some of them around here. Oh, unfortunately, I am not the true adventurer to explore them. I can only recall some of the names that are known. What about Rotunda Vale or Moranda? Have you already been there? There's also a ruin called Nainandava, but that's too far north from here, I suppose. Sorry that I can't give you more details, but ask in the chapel. The priests might also have some historic knowledge. I still don't believe it's real. If it was real, you'd have some sort of proof, right? Well, I don't see any proof. Hmm. I didn't know he said that about that. Or, uh... So, chapel. Have Fire. you heard any word about the other I provinces? found some good polls. I heard the I don't know how... Time is an in-game. Oh. Greetings to you. I see you. How do you do? I understand the brightest field is high in you. Um, how about you? I'm the chapel healer, Gorreran Selvillo. We're glad to see you paying your respects here at the chapel. Oh, Gorreran, do you know anything about alien places? Oh, well, there are several. This region was once a densely populated hardland in alien times, didn't you know? I remember there's a place called Lindai, and another one called Lips and Tarn, or so I think. Or Wendia, yes, that's an alien ruin too. It is south of here, I guess. But we usually don't deal with these pagan ruins, and you shouldn't either. Too dangerous. These dark times are over, fortunately. Hmm. Okay. Take care. Aha! <laughs> Quest update. By asking about the alien ruins in Coral, I collected... A fair list of such places in the cities surrounding Arandata, Lenatai, Morta, Lipsantarn, Nenevata, Windir. Uh, I don't know if this might be any help, but somehow something sounds strangely familiar among these names. If I only knew what and why. Well, I'll tell you what's familiar. Because <laughs> I already know the answer. Um. So you go to the diary entry. 
It was what the Argonians said. <coughs> Excuse me. Like it's, he said, beneath lips and dawn. Well, that sounds a whole lot like lips and tarn, doesn't it? Yes, that's where we need to go. That's the ruin. And it's also north of Coral, which was given as a clue. The books you've been reading? I've been trying to get through. So, um, I'm technically out of time for this video, but I'm gonna add another five minutes on because the oak is we nice didn't really do anything but read the per first like. Please, 15 minutes over the video, so it, I've had a lot of reading. It's not a bad thing, but it might not be that entertaining to watch. Uh, I I really enjoyed the story and the the like the way the, this quest makes you look for the clues, and it, you noticed it didn't put a, a marker on lips on Tarn. This is obviously the crossroads the old man was talking about. So, we buried the Argonian somewhere here, and this leads up to Lips and Tarn, if I remember right. Out of my way. I just heard something summon. Oh well, I'll outrun it. I'm gonna stop the fight. I guess while I'm up here, I needed to fetch this Fingers of the Mountain for... Tikius. So I'll do that too. Centaurn is over here somewhere. <gasps> Shit! Ah! I thought I had that other spell. Quit. <laughs> I wish you could cancel that, like you could in the uh, in the uh, Skyrim. it up ahead on my map. Ouch. Fucker. Found the centaur. I'm 
wonder if we get a journal entry once we get in there. No? Alright, well I'm going to end part 6 right here. And uh, I'll probably pick up part 7 halfway into the ruin because I'm pretty sure that the door won't be on the first floor and I'm pretty sure this is a multi-floor dungeon and I know it's full of vampires. So I will see you guys later.